Hello and welcome to the new session on Azure Virtual Networks. Let's begin our discussion by imagining a scenario of an on-premises data center in which we have our web servers, our file sharing servers, virtual machines installed on Hyper-V. Now all of this resides in our private network protected by some firewall to manage the incoming and outgoing traffic. Now imagine if an organization wants to move all of their resources in cloud using a public or hybrid cloud model, doesn't matter. All of these resources in cloud will also reside in some network. And since the network is in cloud, hence the name virtual network. This means that the virtual network or in short VNets are the backbone in any cloud computing model. VNet in Azure provides the same level of traffic security or even enhanced security just like in our private cloud model. Now before we begin to the practical demonstration on VNets, make sure you have a firm understanding of IP addresses, what is a private or public IP address and what are subnets. I hope all of our viewers know at least on a basic level that a subnet is a logical segregation of a network by moving n any number of host bits to the network bits depending upon the requirement. So with that being said, let's move on to the pra practical demonstration. The objective of this demonstration is to create a VNet in Azure and then create two subnets in it. Each will be hosting a virtual machine and then we will see if both the virtual machines are able to communicate with each other in a different subnets. Okay, so here we are at our Azure portal and we are going to create a virtual network. Okay, so I can see the service right on my dashboard but I'm going to use my favorite way which is the use of the search box. So I'm going to type in virtual network and then it appears in the list so I'll click on it okay so since I do not have any uh, other virtual network already uh, that that already exists in my in my in my Azure portal so I'm presented with the, this uh, this interface okay so I can either click on this blue button which says create a virtual network or I can click this uh, add button which is new and then this will give me the configuration blade for the virtual network okay so the first step is to uh, select the subscription that you have. In your case, it will be a free subscription that you have. And then the resource group. So for now, I do not have any resource group. So let's go ahead and create a new one. And I will call it, let's say, uh, Azure Learning. Okay, and then click OK. And then the name of the name of the VNet would be, let's say, VNet1 click on next IP addresses now this is the technical section okay in this section you'll have to uh, specify the range of IP addresses that you want for your uh, for your virtual network okay so let's say the the cider block for my virtual network that I'm creating would be 192.168.0.0 okay and then slash 24 this is basically the CIDR notification. I'm, uh, I hope you already know what, what it means, okay? This actually means that uh, within this network, 192.168.0, I have uh, about uh, 255 IP addresses. Some of them would be reserved by Azure and one would be the network ID and the other one would be the broadcast ID. But that is a very basic discussion. I hope you already know about this. And then the second step that I need to do is to add at least one subnet, at least one subnet at the time of creation if I do not add any sub subnet at this point the creation will fail at the end okay so at this point uh, even though my objective is to add two subnets but for now I'll just uh, add only one and let's say the subnet name is uh, I call it subnet one okay and then the cider block for this subnet one is 192.168.0.0 and then slash 25 now this slash 25 again it's a very uh, basic uh, subnetting discussion but uh, I'll, get, I'll tell you generally what I want is to segregate this network 192.168.0.0 I want to segregate this network in two networks okay so if I have one bit uh, borrowed from the host portion I have actually two subnets okay and then I can I can simply click add now the subnet has been added now next go to the security okay so these features I do not need uh, any of these features as for now so I'll just go ahead and simply click on next which say which asks me to uh, give some tags so let's say I'll give it a tag owner 
and then the value would be my name so that anyone who looks at this resource must know who created it okay <coughs> but these tags depend upon your own organization policy and then review and create so it gives me the basic details of my virtual network and I can see I can verify the cyber block once again which is 192.168.0.0/24 and then I have added an, a subnet as well now it will take a while before it validates the the setting so I'll get back to you once the once the process has been completed okay so here you, here we go the process has been completed so I'll simply create the virtual network by clicking on this button create okay then again it's gonna take some time to deploy the virtual network so for now I'll pause the video and get back to you once it's done okay so my virtual network has been created now if I want to see my newly created virtual network I will click on virtual networks and then here I can see the new virtual network that I created I will click on it now my next objective is to add another subnet as we discussed earlier so in this section I will look for the tab which says subnet okay so here it is I will click on it and in here I can see the one subnet that I have already created at the time of creation of this virtual network now if I want to add more subnets I will go to this section and then simply click on add subnet okay now this time the name of the subnet would be let's say subnet 2 and the subnet address range would be let's say 192 dot one six eight dot zero dot and this time I'm giving it one twenty eight slash twenty five now what I did is that the first subnet has the range of one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot the first uh, the first the network ID of the first subnet would be dot zero okay as you can see right here and then the broadcast ID would be one twenty seven so the broadcast IP would be 192.168.0.127 okay so the next network would be starting from 192.168.0.128 and then the broadcast IP address of this uh, second subnet would be uh, 255 okay now keep in mind that uh, some of the some of the IP addresses are as you can see over here it says that some of the IP addresses would be reserved by Azure for its uh, for its own purposes okay so yes we are uh, we are okay with that and we can simply click save and then in a moment I should be able to see a new subnet in this list okay so here we go we have two subnets okay now the next objective is to set up a virtual machine in each of these subnet okay now how do I set those virtual machines up uh, that is not the scope of this lecture so I'll just uh, create the virtual machines behind the scene and once they are set up I will get back to you okay okay so both of our virtual machines have been configured our virtual machine 1 is in subnet 1 and our virtual machine 2 is in subnet 2 now if you notice the private IP address of these uh, virtual machine the private IP address of virtual machine 1 is in the exact cider block that I that I configured for our subnet 1 okay and same is the case for VM2 the IP address is uh, 0.132 which resides in the cider block of subnet 2 okay now what I want to do is to check the connectivity between those these two virtual machines okay considering the fact that both of these virtual machines are in different subnets okay so let's log into my virtual machine I have already logged into my virtual machine one okay and then I need the private IP address of virtual machine two so the private IP address of virtual machine two is 192.168.0.132 so I'm gonna type in the this private IP address and try to ping this IP address from virtual machine 1 so 192.168.0.132 okay so if I press enter I can see that I'm getting the reply back this means that the communication is successful okay now I can try the same from virtual machine 2 and for that I will need the private IP address of virtual machine 1 okay which is 0 0.4 so let's go ahead and try that ping 192.168.0.4 and as you can see the bi-directional communication between these two virtual machines is successful okay even though they were in different subnets 
Now here is a task for you. I want you to block the communication from both of these subnets, okay? Which means that the virtual machine one should not be able to ping uh, or to be able to communicate with the virtual machine two, which is in subnet two, okay? So this is the task for you. If you do this on your own, you will get a better understanding of how this whole thing works, okay? So yes, that's it for internetworking and I will see you in the next video.